Today's letter is B. B is for black bear. Come along with me and I'll teach you how to draw this guy. What you're gonna need is a pencil, an eraser, any kind of eraser. I use magic rubber erasers in my classroom, but if you don't have that, just any kind of eraser. And you're gonna need a marker. Um, I use Sharpie markers in my classroom, but if you don't have this, just use a Crayola marker or a black crayon. Uh, the kind of paper I'm using is just the kind that comes out of my printer. I don't use anything fancy. It's just this regular old copy paper. So grab a piece out of your printer, ask your parents first. And you might want to get some crayons. So I colored my picture of my bear with three colors. That's all I use, yellow, brown, and black to color my bear. But we'll get to that at the end after we're done drawing. For now, get a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser, and then meet me back here. Just go ahead and pause the video, and then, oh, before you do that, can you push subscribe down below? Because if you subscribe, that every time I come up with a lesson, you'll be notified. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying it, and give it a thumbs up if you are. So now pause the video, go get a pencil, an eraser, and a piece of paper, and then head on back, and I'll be ready for you. All right, are you back? I'm so excited to teach you how to draw this bear. You know that I found this picture just on the internet, but I got to tell you, I had an experience with a bear at our house. And the type of bear that where I live is called a California black bear. And we had never had one in our neighborhood before, but one showed up in our backyard one day while I was baking brownies. Now I wake up really early and it was dark in my kitchen and I was in the middle of making brownies and I had this feeling that somebody was behind me looking at me and I kept turning around and I couldn't see anything out of the window and I kept working on my brownies and I got them in the oven and they were smelling so good and all of a sudden I turned around and a head of a bear looking like that was staring in my kitchen window. I'm not kidding you. And the sun was just coming up. And I think I was so afraid I didn't even scream. And we've never had a bear in our backyard. It's not like we live in the mountains or anything. So evidently this bear had smelled my brownies and he liked chocolate as much as I did. And he must have wanted some. So I got some video of him, which I will post later. If I can figure out how to do that, I will send a link on my Facebook page for a post of the bear in my backyard. And um, he kept visiting us quite often, and it was so much fun to have him in our neighborhood, but it's not very safe. And uh, they should belong in the mountains. And anyway, it was just the most amazing experience. Um, so. Let's get drawing our bear. So the reason I chose uh, Brownie, the California black bear, I named him Brownie, is because I just think he looks kind of really cute in this picture. This is um, just such a beautiful photo that I found online. And the first thing I always do when I look at a picture is I find the center of my piece of paper. So I'm gonna draw my paper in a rectangle like we did last time. So this is going to represent your paper that you have in front of you. So you want to make your paper tall like a door. Um, that is called vertical. So you want your paper tall today, this direction, not this way. All right. And then we're going to find the middle with our finger, just like we did yesterday and so, or the last time that we did our video. So I'm going to put my finger right here. I'm going to make a little dot. And that's going to help me find the center when I'm drawing. So everything is a little bit more even. All right, next. After you make your little dot, make sure you have your eraser near you. So when we erase, it's very simple. Now, the first thing I'm going to do when I'm looking at my picture of my bear, let me bring him a little bit higher here so you can see him, is that I'm looking at the shape of his head. And what shape is that? Circle, right? Easy. And he's got a pretty big head. Oh my goodness. Trust me, he has a huge head. In my kitchen window, it was huge. So I'm gonna draw a circle right here to start out his head. Next, we're gonna work on the shape of his ears. 
So I'm looking up at his ears and they're pretty far apart on his head. So I'm gonna draw a rainbow shape here. They kind of have a little bit of a point to them too. See that? And a rainbow shape on this side. Now you wanna make sure that they're pretty far apart. That's important because look at how big his face is between his head. Now later we'll fix it. I'll even a little bit more, make it more realistic. Now we're gonna go down to this part of his face, which is his muzzle. And if you look at his muzzle, it's, it's big and it's kind of shaped like an oval. So I'm gonna go right here to the center around this dot and I'm going to make an oval that gets a little fatter at the bottom. I'm gonna erase my dot in the middle. I don't need it anymore. And then I'm gonna go down to the lower portion of this oval. It doesn't it kind of look like an avocado shape too? <laughs> right here, I'm gonna draw his nose. So I'm gonna make a large oval on its side. So I'm gonna just be making a rounded circle, but I'm gonna make it in an oval shape. And then I'm gonna draw his nostrils. Now I'm gonna bring my picture a little closer to you so you can see it. You see his nostrils right in there? So I'm gonna draw a little circle here and here. Starting to look like a pig, isn't he? But don't worry, it'll look like a bear when we're done. Next, I'm gonna add a little letter M kind of shape up at the top. That's this little part at the top of his nose. And I'm gonna draw a small line coming down. That's the same little space that we have right there underneath. And then I'm gonna add his chin underneath. Okay. Now, once we have this part of the bear shape done, we're gonna work on his eyes. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna shorten this distance just a little bit right there. And then use my eraser to erase this top part right here. And you can figure out what we're gonna be adding next. Now, look at how close his eyes are to his muzzle. So I'm gonna start by making a kind of a tall oval shape here and an oval shape there. Then I'm gonna add his eye right inside here. Now that part of his eye would be the iris. That's the colored part of your eye. And then inside that, we'll add his pupil. We'll just add another little space and color it in black. Do you notice I'm leaving a little highlight up there? You can fill the whole thing in black if you'd like to, but I kind of like to leave a little highlight. All right, next, we're gonna add a little bit of the top of his eye. As you can see, his little eyelid and kind of like his eyebrow. So I'm just gonna go right up here and add just a little bit of fur, making kind of like a rainbow shape. I'm gonna do the same thing right under here by drawing his lower eyelid. Can you see that? And now we're gonna make him a little bit more furry. So he doesn't look so much like a pig and a dog mixed together. So the first thing we're gonna do is give him some hair in his ear. So I'm gonna make a rainbow curve shape right there, kind of like an arch, and one on this side. And now we're gonna put a little fur where his ear is. Now you notice he doesn't have a lot of fur sticking out on his ear, but he does have it right up here. And do you notice how it goes up and then it dips in a little bit and then comes back up again? This part of his head is much bigger. So I need to actually bring it up a little bit higher and dip it in and back and over. See how I did that? And then I'm gonna make it furry later. So I went up 
down just a little bit and up, and then I'm going to erase this part. And now I'm going to make it furry by just taking my pencil. Well, I'm using a marker, but you're going to be using a pencil and just putting a little bit of fur right up there. Okay, he's starting to look a little bit more like a bear now, not so much like a pig. Okay, now I want you to notice how big this side of his face is, the fur around the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit more by making it a little bit wider. See how it's big? And then I'm going to make his back way up here by his ear. And then his chest is going to be way down here. He would look ridiculous if we gave him a skinny little neck. He wouldn't look like a real bear. All right, so now let's give him some fur. So I'm going to go right over here to this side. Now, let me tell you something about the way fur grows. So when you're drawing fur, you don't want to draw your lines straight out like this. It doesn't, look, it doesn't look natural, does it? It kind of looks like he's got a bunch of toothpicks stuck in his face or kind of like a cactus. What you want to do is if you look closely, the edge of his fur grows down. So all of his hair follows the shape of his face. So if this part of his face is curving down, the hair would grow down too. You notice how I'm making all my lines close together, but they're curving down. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to make my hair growing down. Oops, I think I erased his eye a little bit. There we go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another layer of fur right up here. He's got this kind of part right up here above his forehead. So I'm going to add another layer of fur there so it matches kind of the eyebrows and eyelids that I did earlier. Next, if we look at his body right here, he's got a whole nother layer of probably, it's probably a layer of um, skin, but it's covered in fur. So I want to add a whole nother layer by just going around like this. Now, of course, his neck isn't made of skin, so we need to add fur here also. So I'm going to erase this a little bit and go back in with my marker and make him furry. I think that's pretty close. What do you think? How is yours turning out? So once we're done with our drawing, now we can go in and we can take our drawing that's black and white, and you can decide what kind of color you want to put on it. So I used colored pencils before. I've used markers before. But you know what I found was the best for coloring my bear? Just plain old crayon. That's what I colored him with. Do you want to know how many colors I used? Three, I use yellow, kind of a golden yellow. What is it called here? Dandelion, black, and brown. This is just in my Crayola crayon box. I just grabbed three colors. I started with yellow. I even put a little yellow in the iris of his eye. The iris, remember, is our colored part of our eye. Then I put a layer of brown over the yellow. Can you see how I did that? Now, do you notice I put a little brown in the corner of his eye right there and there? Look close. And then lastly, I added black. But if you notice, because he's called the California black bear, he's actually not solid black. So let me show you this photograph of him again. He has a lot of brown in his fur. 
it's not just solid black. It's got a lot of brown. Now, the one that was in my backyard was very brown. And when you watch the video that I'm going to attach, you'll see how brown this bear was in my backyard. He was brownish black together. So you can see those are the colors I used for my bear. And I hope that you had fun drawing your bear today. Now remember, if ever I'm talking too fast or this seems too hard, pause it and practice. Every time I do something, I practice. I erase it, I try it again, I practice, I erase it, I try it again. There is no wrong way to do art. And every time you draw, you're gonna get better and better. Now, if you enjoyed this uh, practice today of making a bear, keep doing it at home. And then when you come up with the one that you love the most, I would love you to attach a copy of a picture of it and see if your parents can post that to my Facebook page. I would love to see what you're working on. So I hope you had fun today, and thank you for joining me again for another lesson. Today was B for Bear. <laughs>